The Kaiser Pride Fair would have been on its second year and was largely well-received last year, but the woman behind it says it comes with some heavy baggage. Chalmers Jones Park in Kaiser will remain quiet this year, absent of the bright colors and crowds from the Pride Fair. These photos show last year's inaugural event. It grew very quickly. Claire Snyder organized it and hundreds attended. She saw a need. I have two trans children. But a group from Southern Oregon arrived with signs condemning LGBTQ people. The hateful language resulted in pushback and police arriving to move demonstrators along. After that event, Claire started receiving worse messages online. Personal threats against myself and my children. The mayor and council members condemned such attacks last year and voiced support of the Pride Fair. It was wonderful. I enjoyed uh, my time there as well. But the action's just not matching the words. Claire says in more recent months, the city has not done enough to push back against anti-LGBTQ and racist presenters coming to the Salem-Kaiser area, including some with the Reawaken America tour last month. The city cited free speech and sent police for potential crowd control. Even if you can't control these people coming into our community to speak out and say something. Claire canceled the Pride Fair this year over security concerns. And safety is not just that I'm not murdered, that I'm not beaten, that there's not blood coming out of my body. Safety is knowing that my neighbor, rather than threatening me, is willing to stand beside me and say, you're a human too and you deserve to be here. Mayor Kathy Clark sent a statement to KGW, saying in part, Kaiser is a diverse community. Last year's Pride Fair was one way in which an individual community member made a difference and created an opportunity to bring understanding through a celebration of our diversity. But Claire fears emboldened anti-LGBTQ discrimination. What would your response be to them? Imagine someone flying a flag outside your door saying, blue eyes suck. You can't change your blue eyes. You can't walk outside your house and just ignore what is in your face. And all I am asking is to be seen as a human, for my children to be seen as human beings that exist here and deserve to celebrate their life and who they are. Both Kaiser's mayor and Kaiser Pride Fair have lengthy statements on this subject, and we've put the full statements on KGW.com. Galen Etlin, KGW News.